fights. Never stop. Yeah, never so stop. Never stop. Poured all up. Mm. Bike to take Vanish, our Mark 8 Golf Project car, to Bristol Airport. We are flying out again to see KSA. This is to test the, the composite intake, FMI and DK47. Can't wait to get out there. Tomorrow morning we'll be at KSA and that's when we'll start doing our fitting and testing on the dyno. So here we are, we've got the Uber. We've got Dangerous Denver, he's taking us to the <laughs> to the Airbnb. I, what's it like today, Denver? Are you alright? Come by Leo. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> here we go again. Hello. Oh. Look, Eugene has got yeah. your name on the door. Yeah, yeah. that's my unit. The driveway, you'll find out the box space to the left, and the fourth to the left is the key box hanging on a pole. Uh, big help, the things. Yeah, you keep going on the bikes. Yeah, bikes. Crystal furniture store. Yeah. And you did hanging on the pole. What pole? <laughs> we found it. What's, what we got in Thomas? Da da Insert the key, push it inwards, then turn right. Mm, I don't think it's this one. What floor are we? Four. Is this the third? This is two. This is two. Oh, look, Eugene, you can see the Eiffel Tower. Ah. Yeah, look, look, look. <laughs> it's just this is right there. Just there. France, just woken up, all dressed, ready, uh, stayed in the Airbnb. Last night, had a bite to eat, um, not too much of a wild one, bit of a relax. We are about to go and get an Uber to KSF, um, get a few bits together and I go to do the installation on potentially what is at the moment the world's fastest Aerie RS3 8Y. It's owned by KSF France, let's get our stuff together, go and see Frank and get on with a good day's work. Let's go. We've got 8.1 kilometers to travel. It should take us approximately 23 minutes. We've just arrived at KSF, had a XF1 Uber driver. Sort authentic of. Paris oh, Yeah, authentic um, Paris Uber, and yeah, you're right. So that was... Um, that was a bit of an adventure. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. awake now, more than oh, I was at the it, So, um, yeah, here we go. Got the intake with us. We're going to just start to, to get on. Going to go and say hello to Frank. The building looks good. Yeah. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Let's get it on. Yeah. Let's get it fitted. Stop yeah. messing around. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh huh. Welcome back to another inspiration video. Oh, Right then guys, we've done the installation, it's all fitted up on the RS3 8Y. Uh, again, thank you to KSF for your hospitality and letting us come do some development with you guys. We're gonna head on back now to where we're residing, to the Airbnb, um, get a bit of rest and come back tomorrow to do some dyno testing. So we have done with our work for the day. Yeah, it's a long day. Yeah, it's a long Luke, day. Luke's got a headache. Yeah. It's amusing. <laughs> We do, I got a headache from yeah, Duke, yeah. yeah. 
we're gonna go and uh, try and find somewhere to go for the evening. The, the evenings. Yeah. Well, that was more than a ten minute walk. Yeah. That's a very brisk walk. Let's go. You want to go, or you want to go back out that way and around? Uh huh. Uh huh. Eugene, there's nothing that I wouldn't do. Go anywhere with you. 1855. You sure about that? Oh, <laughs> Yeah, 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 got it, got it. <laughs> it's not my friend. I don't know who that is. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's better. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to do Dauphinois potato. Some garlic mushrooms, yeah. <laughs> That's literally a half of a cow. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. Good morning, Eugene. So pleasurable for you to have the uh, camera in again. Last day. We're going back to KSF this morning to finish the dining. So we're gonna go put on the dyno and see exactly how we get on, what sort of power we produce. As explained before, the car is quite heavily tuned with the TT700. We're feeling that the FMI DK47 is, is gonna do really well um, with that configuration. Hopefully we can do somewhere 650 and 700 um, brake horsepower at the flywheel. Let's get on, get a croissant on the way and start to get on with the day. Eugene's in his own world <laughs> He's away with the fairies mm. Okay, so it's um, a Wednesday morning now at KSF in France Frank has just loaded up the RS3 onto the dyno gonna strap it on down now and um, yeah, do some power runs. Okay, so just quick walk around KSF, okay? So, as you can see, it's a good, nice premises. Got the Dino Jet Dino in this area. So some of the um, machinery in the car park, cool old school R32 Golf on Air Ride Ferrari SF90. You know, what a piece of machinery that is, quite a rare beast. Really, 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 really nice. SQ7. Was classic, you know, every petrol has dream 911 turbo. Some cool, you know, RS4 there, another newer generation RS4. And quickly walk around into the workshop. So, we've got another RS3 parked up here. Uh, they do a lot of R8s, turbo conversions. So, two R8s outside the front there. Nice ABT RS4, MG GTR. Lovely car, really, 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 really nice. Um, just install into an R8. Again, another R8. Precision turbo, the one on that one. Cool old school, Smart 1TT. RS2. And um, some wheel alignment going on there, the RS3. Nice, uh, nice old AV there, RS4. What a beast, this one's not standard, so that's got some hybrid turbos on. Quite a spicy, spicy little number, that one. Um, now, Frank is investing. Um, he's investing in his premises. So we've got, again, Tom and Eugene over there. Um, Frank setting up the diner. So he is building another unit here. I'm gonna quickly sneak downstairs. So just excuse me walking down the rubble, probably a little bit careful. Watch your ankles. Okay, so nice big area down there. Um, another dyno is going to be installed. So it's going to be a bit of storage. Probably going to have some more of the uh, you know, exotic machinery down here. Um, and like I said, the dyno going in. And quite a big space. You know, I think it's good that he's, um, like I say, he's investing and building some more stuff. It's 
quickly go up the ladder. Let the builders reduce. Build a link. Oi. And back up. I don't know if anyone noticed yesterday. Um, we certainly noticed. Tom, you noticed. When we arrived, it just had a single bucket seat um, in the S3. So it looked like a Porsche carbon fiber type job. But very, very kindly of him, we did sort of say to him yesterday before we left, any chance that we can just, you know, one of us can pop out in the car and, and feel how fast it, what sort of noises it makes. So he very kindly stayed on last night and reinstalled the OEM front seats. So hopefully, after we've done some dining, we can take it for a whiz up the road. Fast? I will test. Yeah, good, good. <laughs> What happens if you have a fire, Tom? Um, you unbox the fire extinguisher. Unbox it? You read the safety instructions. <laughs> yeah, read the You instructions. assemble it. Yeah. Then you put out the fire. And hope for the best. Yeah, yeah the fire. Yeah. You limited the torque? Uh, right, uh, okay. Flat. Yeah, yeah, it's just flat. Yeah, that's yeah. okay. So, flywheel horsepower. Yeah, that's fly. Six eight two. Yeah. So six hundred eighty two, and that is with a TTE seven hundred uh, Forge Motorsport FM INT thirty three, FM INR H nine, and FM IND K forty seven. Yeah, it's a good job. Really, really good. Really happy. 300 kilometers an hour. Eugene is coming after your job. Took it. Get heavy. <laughs> okay. So we're just going to take it for a little drive. doing the job that I do and the job that we do. It's a really sort of like tight-knitted community. Now, of course, there is competition out there, but we all strive to just do one thing, and that's give the enthusiasts what they want. This journey in particular has been great. It's been really good working with the tuning companies Litchfield in the UK, and David, the owner of the RS3 in the UK, along with Frank and KSF at MRC. It's really special, and it goes to show that we're doing projects like this. We really do our research. We want to work with the best tuners. We want to give Aiden enthusiasts the best products that we can. And it's just been a really good sort of ending to a brilliant project. I know that myself and the team at Forge Motorsport cannot wait to get this out on the market and um, released into the public and start selling units across the world because we do truly believe that we've absolutely nailed this one. It's a really good product. The price is going to be really competitive. So all in all, just to sort of like wrap it up, thanks to everyone. Um, and <coughs> check our stuff out, forgemotorsport.co.uk. Um, buy some products and, and enjoy them. Yes, yeah, it's, it's locked. Um, so, from the three of us, um, KSF, au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir.